Alright guys, and welcome back to The Lemon King Survival Minecraft Season Number 2, Episode Number 5. And we are picking up right over here. Um, we left from the house over there. Got our gear together and ready to find one of those underwater places. Got some chain armor on, and we are ready to take off. And I parked my horse here, and we found this water mass, so hopefully there's something out here. Just gotta leave the horse. And I almost lost the horse on the way over due to ice. He got stuck on an ass and almost drowned. He was at half a heart when I saved him. So he's all right now. He's he's doing well. Now I don't remember if I traveled through here before and loaded the chunks or not. So I'm not sure what's going to spawn. Got some weird chunks over there. Weird junk generation. So we're just gonna keep on cruising over the water and see if we can find something really quickly. I really don't want to have to cut. Kind of hoping there's something here. And they normally do stand out a little bit better than most. Ear chunk generation. Um, I don't know. Any more room for me to go? This we're gonna have to go on foot. No, get back here, boat. No. What the hell are you doing? Give me that. Or now we're on foot. Over these desert hills. Maybe I didn't turn it back on normal mode. Yeah. I forgot to because I was trying to do some quick things in other worlds and I forgot to turn it back on normal. I should lock it, but I never know if you have to change it off and on or what. I'm gonna look over the land too, in case we see anything standing out. Just one of those fountains over there, which we really don't need. So we're not gonna go over there to see that. They just look all right. They're kind of normal now. There's not much to them. There's water. Yay, more ocean to explore. Back on the ocean we go. Back on the water here we go. Looking for that underwater temple. To loot all of its goodies. Yep. It's like a decent place to find it too. It's nice and flat and just stone. It's like a whole stone biome just put underwater basically. It's pretty much what it looks like. Don't know if there's any techniques to finding these or what, so I'm just gonna glide around and hope we get lucky. I know they're not extremely easy to find, but they're still not really hard to find either. It's gonna get nighttime soon too, I might have to sleep the night. This is a big ass desert here. Here. 
Definitely a big desert. But all around it elsewhere is just water. Nice land, definitely nice land, nice generation, everything. Just need some water temple. Just one. That's all I need is one. I'm not sure really what they all drop, but I know they have some cool stuff in there that I'd like to see if I can get my hands on the lanterns and stuff. There's plenty of ocean here to do it, so hopefully. Out here somewhere. Just this is all new generation. So hopefully something pops up in this new generation. Just gotta keep an eye for those uh, fish too. The special spawning fish. I don't remember what they're called. But they spawn around the temples. They protect them. They're guardians of the temples. Boating around on the high seas. It's a lot of room for it to spawn right here. This is I'm like in this area. I just can't. Finally, I'm going to pause and come right back when we find it. Alright guys, and we are back, and we finally found what we're looking for here. And I think it's about time we go on and check it out. It's right over there. You can see the temple out in the distance. I think we're ready to go and give it a whack. So, we got our goods. I actually might want to take the boat out. It'll be quicker. <laughs> Ready to go. Just get on out here. It's a temple. So that's the temples. That's what they look like. So ready to go here. Just taking care of. I don't know if these guys will hurt me above water. Sorry about that, guys. The game crashed right as I got close to that thing. So now I think we need to go down. Attacking those squid. Shit. Arrows aren't working down here. Of these guys, don't even look at them. We gotta go kill the boss. I know where the boss is because they always spawn in the same spot. I'm pretty sure he's right there. He is. Got him. Break, you need like an axe. Really hard to break. Alright, so this is all the different kind of blocks they have here. They're, as you can see, kind of difficult to break here. So we get a prismarine shard. So let's go back down here.
weird sound effects with these guys too. Wet sponges. Why are they so hard to break? Anything like three years to get this? Not sure why I can't break anything in here because. Zero. I really don't want to sit here and mine this thing for like three days. Game crashed again, so we're just gonna leave these guys go. Three and a half minutes water breathing in the first potion. I'm trying to find the other boss. Normally there's two in here. Up here. Tubby go. Come here, Tubby. Drop the wet sponge. Okay, I don't know if there's anything else really much to grab in here. What if I... Get mining fatigue from these things. Oh, so I might just sit here and wait till the mining fatigue wears off. I don't think I need to throw on another water breathing potion. I don't know where these shards form in the prismarine blocks. Got a fish. That's wet sponges. Wet sponges. Basically now with sponges you can uh, wet them and then you can carry water back with them. And then they can into a dry sponge so you actually get sponges now. So 
Yeah, there's some neat features with these guys. So I got two minutes left, and I'll be back when I get done that. All right, guys, and we are back. So I got one piece of lantern, but anything else because every time I think the problem here is every time one of them zaps me with the uh, mining fatigue three um, I get kicked I get aired in the game. so every time I get mining fatigue three on me I will die or the game crashes so I have to get out of here Ocean floor is all gravel. The noises are weird too. Just getting this boat and get out. Because every time they hit me with it, the game crashes. I had to make a bucket of milk to try to get rid of the thing. So I just mined the lantern. I only got three crystals for it though. So Let's go around them. But we can say we've done it. We can say we have taken down the fortress. A cave under there. So that might be seen off. So, yep, that's where we're going to end off this episode, guys. So, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please remember to leave a like and uh, show you some support. And the next episode uh, may go for more of the achievement-wise. I forgot I have my FT3 on, so I can't really break anything. So, yeah, I think we're going to do more of achievements next time. But that's all we got for this episode, guys. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys back at the house. Oh, 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 oh,